It's Meredith and it's Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. I had an appointment with my nurse practitioner today and, uh, you know, wanted to talk to her about a few things and one of them was um, just weight loss and getting this weight loss surgery. And she was very supportive of it, thought that, you know, that was probably something that I should do. And that was just good to hear, you know, I wanted to talk to a medical professional about it. And so, yeah, just thought I'd make a quick little video here to say that that's something that I'm going to try to start seriously pursuing now, you know. Um... Yeah, so that's kind of exciting, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's this old, like, lady picture in the background. I bought a piece of art um, last month. I just have not hung it up yet, so the old lady art is going. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I just wanted to record that, that that I had talked with her. She said, when people have had trouble with weight loss in the past, like me, you know, like you try and you fail and you try and you fail and you try and you fail and you try and you fail. Um, she said the only proven long-term success was uh, weight loss surgery. You know, not that everybody succeeds because she was honest. She said some people don't. But, uh, but the people who are successful, it's just that nothing else works. No pill, no program, no whatever. For people who have, like me, who have struggled for a long time with um, losing weight, keeping it off, being successful that way, that the, the only proven um, long-term success is uh, weight loss surgery. So, I would fit into that category. Um, I'm just excited. She did say that, you know, pe the people who don't succeed do view the surgery as a miracle cure. And, uh, but she thought that I was going in it with the right mindset. She really, she liked that I was uh, saying that I need to go into counseling. and Especially with the, um, you know, my insurance does not cover any any weight loss surgery none no plan does <clears throat> so I have to go I have to pay all out of my own pocket and I have to go through you know I live in such a small community that there's nowhere <laughs> probably the nearest place is Salt Lake I and I live three hours away from there so uh, getting it done in the United States is much more expensive than flying to somewhere like Mexico so I'm really, really looking at, that's probably what I'm going to do, but you don't really have follow-up care with those surgeons, you know, you can't go see them, like, well, just going to go see my doctor in Mexico for my monthly checkup or whatever, um, so I need somebody local who will be able to help monitor me and make sure Things are going well, but also, like I said before, I want a biblical counselor who's going to be able to, I don't want a secular one or somebody who's just going to look at behavior modification. If that was the issue, I would have been successful already. I want somebody who's going to, <clears throat> you know, like I said before, dive into God's word, is going to uh, look at the idols in my heart, and you know, I want God to be my desire. I want him to be my ultimate, my reason to be. And so with that mindset in mind, for lack of a better term, um, you know, I really want him to be the center and the focus of everything I do. And especially something like this, where it's been a struggle for decades. And it is something that I pursue above him, and uh, I want. That's the most important thing that needs to be changed. So, yeah. Okay, I said I was going to make this quick. So.
so I just wanted to throw that out there. I contacted, uh, emailed the gal who, through this company, I look like I have a black eye. I don't. I emailed this gal through the company that I'm pursuing, which is Be Lightweight, is the company, and just told her, hey, I'm serious about this, if I want to have surgery in Mexico or I'm really thinking like, man, as soon as the school year's out, let's go. Um, like last week in May. <laughs> we'll see. So I uh, just emailed her saying, what are some next steps that I have to do? So, yeah, wish I could get it done sooner. But, I don't know. Like, I can't. <laughs> I'm, I know me. I'm a weenie when it comes to pain. I'm going to need a few weeks to recuperate. I can't take time off from school. I'm out of sick days. So, um, yeah. Well, that's it. So, ta-ta for now.